Researchers with the Agricultural Research Service at the USDA are working on controlling an invasive pest, the brown marmorated stink bug. This bug was imported from Asia and was first detected in the early 2000s in Allentown, Pennsylvania. It has now been detected in 41 states and creates severe nuisance problems to homeowners where it prefers to overwinter. It is capable of causing millions of dollars in damage to the fruit and vegetable industries. A decade later, populations reached outbreak proportions, and many IPM programs in specialty crops were abandoned. In response, insecticide use increased by as much as fourfold. In the Lesky lab, we are trying to manipulate the behavior of the stink bug while reducing the amount of insecticides applied to increase both ecological and economic sustainability for growers. Specifically, we are evaluating how well crop or non-crop plants act in retaining the stink bugs when they encounter the plants, as well as whether these plants can attract the stink bugs from neighboring areas. The goal of this research is to evaluate potential plant species that could be used in an attract and kill program, whereby adults aggregate in a spatially confined area, giving the grower the chance to spray that area to eliminate them. The grower is thus able to decrease the amount of insecticide used by up to 70% while still retaining equal levels of control. Ongoing experiments are evaluating apples, peaches, sorghum, and sunflowers as potential attract and kill plants. To evaluate questions of retention time and attraction distance, we have been using harmonic radar. In this system, we tag bugs with small wires containing diodes. Once adults are tagged and released on specific plants, we can detect them at periodic intervals afterwards with the radar by high-pitched beeping when we point the radar in the direction of the tagged individual. After localizing the individual to an area, we can visually assess the location of the adult. In this manner, we can look at how long an individual stays on a given plant species and also see how this is affected by the addition of the recently identified aggregation pheromone. In the end, we hope to be able to contribute to the sustainability of agriculture by helping to re-establish IPM programs for fruit growers in the Mid-Atlantic region. More information about this work and other research with BMSB can be found at www.stopbmsb.org.